In this episode of Cars Plus, we're going to show you an alternative method for metal blackening. On the channel, you'll find that we already have a method that we've shown you, which will work great for bolts, nuts, etc. But if you have to do something that is made of, for example, spring steel, heating it to the temperature necessary to blacken it will destroy the temper in the steel. So in this episode, we're going to show you how to use Jack's Iron, Steel, and Nickel Blackener to blacken a little spring clip and other items of that nature. In our first cup, we have muriatic acid. We also have one of our little spring clips, just like this one. It's already in the cup, it's soaking. The purpose of the muriatic acid is to remove all rust. You don't want any rust on the surface for your metal blackening. Next over, we have a second cup that's got water in it. Once we're done with the muriatic acid, we'll drop our clip in that cup of water, rinse it off, and then we'll head over to our third cup, which has Jack's Metal Blackener right here. And this is an item we got off of eBay. It's not off of eBay. I was going to say eBay, but no, it's not. This is Amazon, and we should be able to give you the Amazon address for it so you can get this particular product. We're going to take our part out of the muriatic acid once I get a hold of it. Notice my tweezers is a little magnetic, so it kind of picks up to it when I don't want to. There, I got a hold of it properly. And we're going to rinse it in our water. Now, of course, it'd be better off to have a lot more water, but we're only doing one here for a sample. And you could also use running water to rinse it off. And then you put it in the metal blackener. And get it to release, and we're going to let it sit in there for a while. Now, one of the things about the metal blackener is if you don't like your finish the first time, you can take it out. You can dry it, you can throw it back in, you can make maybe a little darker if you want to. But it doesn't take very long, and the metal is blackened. And there we have one that's been through the process. As I said, it's sticking in my tweezers, but there he is, black. Now, if it's not black enough for you, you can stick it back in. But that's what you're going to get. It'll be a shade, different shades of gray to black will be the results of this product. So if you have a spring type item that you cannot heat for the other metal blackening video that we showed you, here is your alternative, a method that you can use for those types of items.